Hi, my name is Kent Broadbent. I'm from a, I live in the country by a small town called Manowan, Illinois. That's where I grew up, went to high school there. Um, I came home from Illinois State, farmed for 20 years, worked in a bank for another 19 years, and uh, things happened in life, and I decided I was going to start painting again. I painted all the way from grade school to uh, about 28 years old, but life got in the way. So, but I, so I'm now back, starting in probably uh, 2012, doing my current type of work. I'm an abstract expressionist. I mean, I was a realistic painter as a young man or a young boy, and in high school, we didn't have art in my high school, so I took art classes with the adults. And at that point, I was just transitioning into abstract or uh, impressionism and such as that. And I just made the switch when I was in college, just to abstract expressionism, because it was fun. And you could do what you want, but you could still create beautiful art. You know, I don't make, you know, I don't make these grand statements, this means all this stuff. I do painting because I love doing it and I love working with colors. Colors are fun. <laughs> you know, that's, I love colors. You know, just putting colors, unusual colors together to see how they work together. And actually I'm working on more of a depth of a palette too. As I get more accomplished in my skills, I understand there's more depth that I can make with each hue or color and tints and shades. <laughs> a lot of them don't even know I'm an artist. I mean, uh, it is really rural. I mean, my uh, I rent my farm out and they know, a few of my neighbors, neighbors do. It's not, it's not rural American art. I'm sorry, I, I just don't do barns. Uh, that's what kind of drives the market in rural America, barns and things such as that. And I'm just not, that's not my cup of tea. I did that in high or grade school, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Although some people, I'm su I am really surprised. Sometimes I go to the grocery store and they know that I'm an artist and they'll high five me. And that really makes me feel good. They say, I love your art. So that makes me always feel good. I, well, I also, I want you also know, I make my own frames. Uh, it's a long story to that. When I was in college, I made a painting in a class I gave it to my brother. And he hung in his house. He had always hung in his house. But it was, uh, every time we went up to visit him, I'd say, my God, Paul, that was my brother. I wish you had a different frame on it. It was a terrible frame. Well, my brother passed away and my nephew said, you know, Uncle Ken, do you mind if I take these paintings? I said, no, please, go ahead. He said, first thing I want to do is get rid of that God awful frame on that painting. So, that's, and after that point, I said, you know what? People can do with frames what they want, but I know how I want my painting to look with the frame on it. Uh, what I want them to discover is, a, you know, a smile to look at the colors and the composition to see how they interact with each other. And I hope the paintings do with bright, vivid colors that they bring a smile to a person's face. No, I, I took my art classes because I enjoyed it. You know, you have to take so many general ed classes well that fit i love painting you know i be myself in the art class i studied psychology but then like i said i went back to the farm and then i went to a bank so you know you never know where you're going to end up and now i'm an artist and having a ball doing it 